Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to another session here with us at Mathematics Resource Center. And today we'll be looking at mixed operation with fraction. Let's get into it. All right, so the first question that we have is half times three fifth divided by three and a half. Whenever time you're given a fraction question, the very first thing that I will employ you to do is to always change those mixed numbers into improper fraction. So at the, the bottom there in the denominator, we're seeing a mixed fraction, which is three and a half. We're going to change that into an improper fraction. All right, so if we're going to change this into an improper fraction, we're going to multiply there and add there. So we're going to multiply the denominator with the whole number and then add that result to the numerator. All right, so let's just write down our numerator as we have it, um, or whatever we had here at the top. So that's 3 fifth and divide. So we're going to see. 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 1, which gives us 7. And we're going to write 7 divided by 2. Good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to rewrite this entire uh, fraction in another form. So where we have this fraction bar, we're going to change that out. So you know that fraction bar actually means division right so if you see 6 over 2 it actually means 6 divided by 2 right so we know that that fraction bar actually means division so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to change that out so we have half times 3 fifth good that in brackets divided by 7 half all right now that we have done that, we're going to go ahead and apply the principle of Bidmas or Bubdas or Budmas or Pemdas. It doesn't matter which one you say, we're going to apply one of those principles. And it says that we're going to do the bracket first. So looking at the bracket, we see a half times three fifths. Now we look at a half and three fifth. Is there anything that can cancel diagonally? No. This diagonal? No. Top and bottom? No. Top and bottom? No. So let's just go ahead and multiply across. So we'll go one times three is three. And two times five is ten. All right. Divide by. So put it back what we had. So we had a division sign here. It doesn't disappear. It goes back. So move the division sign here, and we have 7 over 2, so it goes back. So that's 7 divided by 2. Now we're going to go ahead and rewrite this. So we have 3 over 10, and for division, when we're dividing fraction, we keep the first fraction, which I have here, 3 over 10, and we're going to change the division sign to multiplication, so keep, change, and then we're going to flip the fraction that comes after, so it's 7 over 2, so it's going to be 2 over 7. Now we can go ahead and look if there's anything that can be cancelled. So look, diagonally, 3 and 7, uh -uh, there's nothing there. What about 2 and 5? Of course there's something with 2 and 5. We can definitely find something to cancel there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cancel. So 2 into 2 is 1 and 2 into 10 is 5. So we go ahead and we write our answer which is 3. Because 3 times 1 is 3. Good. And over 5 times 7 is 35. So our answer is 3 divided by 35. All right. Hope oh, I didn't rush. And if I did, remember it's a video. So you can always go back, pause, digest a bit, come back again, and watch the rest of it. All right. And remember to post your questions below if you have any questions. All right. Let's continue. Now we have this question. And it says 5 and a half divided by 3 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 4 fifths. 
the very, 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 very first thing that we should do when we see a question, a fraction question with mixed number is to, I'm listening, is to, is to change them into an improper fraction. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So if we have five and a half and we're changing that to an improper fraction, we're going to multiply there and then add the result. So that would be five times two or two times five, which is 10 plus one, which gives us 11 divided by two or over two. You understand how we change from mixed number to improper fraction? Good. So our first one is 11 over two divided by, let's go with the next one. The next one is going to be three and two thirds. So we're going to multiply here. So three times three is nine plus two, which gives us 11 divided by three. So 11 divided by three. All right, so we're good so far. So we're going to go with the next part. And next part is one and four fifth. So we're going to multiply here. Good. And we're going to add there. So five times one is five plus four is nine over five. All right. So that's plus nine over five. Now looking at the principle, boom das. Boom das. All right, so whichever one you use is fine. We're going to do our division, which comes before addition. So we're going to do division first and then addition second. So let's do the division part. It has here 11 over 2 divided by 11 over 3. So when we're dividing fractions, right, we keep the first fraction as it is which is 11 over 2. We change the sign, which is division to multiplication. So keep change. And we flip the next fraction. In other words, we reciprocate the next fraction. So here we have 11 over 3. It's now going to be 3 over 11. Right? And what happened to my plus 9? It does disappear. No, it's still here. I can't keep it here. Right? We're not using it as yet. We're just doing this part, but we can still keep it around. All right, and we must still keep it around. All right, so now we're going to look diagonally. 11 here, 11 there. Can anything cancel? Of course, we can cancel something there. All right, so let's go ahead and cancel. 11 is 11, 1, 11 is 11, 1. So now we're going to go with the other diagonal, 2 and 3. Can anything cancel there? No. So we're going to go ahead and multiply across. So 1 times 3 is 3. And 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 9 fifths. Since I don't have enough space there, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write it down. 3 halves plus 9 fifths. All right. So now that I have that, I'm going to look at my fractions. And I'm going to look at them and I'm going to say, I have three halves and I have nine fifths. Looking at the denominators, are they the same? No. Given that the denominators are not the same, what do I need to do? I need to find my LCM. What is the LCM of two and five? Oh, that's 10. Well done. Now we're going to rewrite our fractions with that new denominator, which is 10. Now I'm going to look at my two. I'm going to say, what did I multiply 2 by to get 10? That is 5. So if I multiply the 2, the denominator by 5 to get the new denominator, I'm going to do the same thing with the numerator. So that's 5 times 3, which is 15. Right? Then I come to the next fraction, 9 fifth. My new denominator is 10. What did I multiply 5 by to get 10? That's 2. So if I multiply 5 by 2 to get 10, I'm going to do the same thing with the numerator, which is to multiply by 2. So I now have 9 times 2, which is 18. Now that my denominators are the same, I can go ahead and just add the numerators and write down my denominator. So my denominator is 10, and I have 15 plus 18, which gives me 33. 
I can write this as a mixed number, not required, but I can. So I can write three and three times. So there goes it. And that brings us to the end of another video. I hope this one was informative. I hope you learned about mixed operation with fraction. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, bye-bye.